Drop! You know, it's always kind of been this holy grail trying to find um, little openings in the earth to ride through, put a human soul through. <laughs> <laughs> One of the locals out here, this guy named Jake, he's an amazing pilot. He kind of caught wind of how much I love to try to find and ride through natural arches. Uh, it's just been, I guess, an obsession of mine for quite a long time. He's like, hey, I know where there's this other arch. This was like his little secret and he was kind enough to share it with Travis, but we had to name it appropriately. So it's not just Jake's crack or Jake's line, it's Jake's dirty laundry. It ain't small. No, it's big. It's super impressive line. It's this like beautiful pencil shoot that runs through these couple big rock walls. And then this large arch, the top part, you know, it does have a little bit of a funnel. Yeah. If you start riding and it's like all of a sudden like, whoa, you could pull out after the first chunk, but I think once you pass that, then you're kind of committed. Yeah, then you're going down it, yeah. It's always scary. <laughs> Riding down something that you may or may not go under. What do you think about this distance? Oh, well, below you there to your right. If we just creep along this slope um, underneath the rocks, yeah, maybe just see if there's some like landing. I don't need an Uberman. I don't. Doesn't look like there is one, but we got good clearance. You can work that. Yeah, that's great. You good? Yep. Okay. Oh, good luck, gentlemen. You're looking way down to this little tiny hole. For sure no one's ridden that thing before. What if I fall going down that thing and just die? If you weren't in control, you would just fly into absolute death. The early Spanish and French, you know, they were all going down to South America looking for the fountain of youth, which doesn't exist. However, 10 years off your life, if you ride through a legit line with an arch in it, Ten Each, years off or ten years on? Ten years off. Oh shit. No, no, on. You, I mean, you get ten years okay, more that's youth. that's a lot better. Yeah, yeah. Riders up top are uh, pretty much good to go. All right, guys. I am dropping. I would say, generally speaking, I have a higher tolerance for risk than, say, someone who might be a little more risk adverse. And it's one of the reasons I still am super into snowboarding and I, I still love it. I was not going to ride it but we have one moment to capture something that could be great. I think that's what also was like, that's what I was scared of most. Maybe I wasn't even scared of like the crap. Maybe I was scared of just like not getting anything. And I was at the top and I was like, well, all right, he did it so I can do it. Top, top, top. I mean, that is a crazy run. Nice work on the exit. I don't know how to explain it. Like when I rode that thing and it came out on the other side, I was different. Like it's a rebirth. 
Honest to God, I haven't been that scared on my snowboard for a very long time. <laughs> so good. You have the taste in your mouth, like, like I've just opened up this door. And I can't wait to go through it. Can't wait to do this again. I can't wait to get that perfect day. It's what I'm saying. That's all.